Let's make some pernil. Vamos a hacer pernil. crispy it burns scotch bonnet peppers this is the best way to peel garlic We're going to season it with salt, fresh garlic, adobo, oregano, scotch bonnet peppers, the sweet kind, granulated garlic or garlic powder, paprika, fresh cilantro, and one bouillon cube. Make sure the skin is clean. No seasoning, nothing on it but salt. Just so the skin has some of that, some seasoning on it, some flavor. Now let's wrap this baby up. And we're gonna go in the oven for three hours or until it's falling off the bone. Let's see what we got. Save this sauce and the juices from the pernil. We're gonna make a sauce with it. So we cover this because we're gonna put it at a high heat. We're gonna put the pernil back in the oven at 500 or broil. So you wanna cover all the meat, the bone, and everything else, only leaving the skin exposed. Many ways of doing this, but everybody does it differently. I love the skin. We're gonna go right back in the oven now. 500 degrees. Just the fat. So using that fat, we're gonna saute some onions, some garlic, cilantro, celery. We're gonna add that same sauce, the juices from the pernil, right back in that pan. Add some chicken stock. If you don't have chicken stock, use a bouillon cube. Oregano. Thyme. 
Bring this to a simmer. The sauce is working. Once you got a nice consistency on your sauce, we're gonna strain it and we're gonna sit the bed on top of this. Usually I would serve it just like this, but I want to show you guys something. You can hear the crispiness. Let me show you. The outside is super crispy. The inside is falling off the bone tender. This is what you want. Take some of the skin. Some smoked flaky salt. Ni mirando aprenden. Buen provecho. Mm-hmm. 